a sixteen year old. Yeah, six year old can't say that. My chat for growing up. Okay. Oh, okay. Brian, did you see our dog? Okay. Haven't. Well, should we hold? Should I talk about? It's fine with me. Oh. Where's Janie Thorne? I want to see her. She's out there. talk about whatever's going on. How about, um, let's talk about some uh, current events. What do you think?
Okay, good. And Sue? Oh, there you are. Okay. Okay. We are have been requested to start. We've waited 11 minutes. I think that's probably enough. Now we're waiting an additional minute. Are you moving those songs around? No. Nope. No. <laughs> yeah, we decided to totally do this. We're gonna You're going to redo the set right away. Right away. <laughs> On the spot. Ladies and gentlemen, Karen Tobin, let's give her a good hand. Thank you very much, guys. It's really cool to be here. Um, I've become really good friends with a couple of the really important women here in this scene, and I'm very honored to be asked to do a solo uh, set, and I hope you like my tunes. And uh, Okay, this is called Hills of Home. Blue smoke hanging in the hickory tree From the fog on the river and the factory Dinner is cooking on the kitchen stove
of home. Nothing like it. <coughs> okay, so. <coughs> okay. Hi. <laughs> How's that? How was that? That's right. Mm. Right. I'm like, all right. I'm, uh, my uh, girls that I sing with now in the Jackal Trio are here, and we usually do this song, but we'll do it another time with you guys, but we're going to do it right now with us. It's called Julianne. She could heal you with a whisper She could chase your troubles away She would love you in the winter And you'd believe it for summer She'd never fall in love again. She had a hurt that it cut too deep. Broken heart needs time to heal. Julian, Julian, Julian. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <coughs> I'm, I'm pulling out some songs that the, the gals from the trio have never heard before, so maybe <coughs> that's why they're not singing with me up here. <laughs> this is called Wishing Well. And did we decide we would sing it this way or that way? No. Okay, I'm going to let you listen. Okay. I'd like to thank Greg Kruger, who's been very instrumental in helping me 
get my act together with my um, presentation of my original music. And I'm very grateful for his friendship and my long-term friend, Sue. I just am so happy that she's there. I, I hear she's known as the secret weapon. That's what they tell me. <laughs> so, and Paul Marshall is my friend and bass player and co-writer for many years. So um, anyway, that's it. Okay. Uh, this is called Wishing Well. And here's a song that I wrote with uh, Mark Fawson. And it was so great when we were together because we would, like, the, there was musical notes fall flying everywhere in the house, you know? We were just writing constantly. It was so much fun. And then it wasn't. <laughs> so anyway, here goes. One, two, three, four. <laughs> She walked down to the well one morning, shut her eyes and threw a coin in, made a wish that love would come her way. As the money hit the water, she thought of what her mama taught her. She could hear the words she used to say. Blinded by the light, so that's good. I guess I don't have to see people <laughs> in the audience. <laughs> um, <coughs> yeah, so I wrote this. 
I wrote this song with um, a fellow named Craig Lackey, and he came over for an appointment, writing appointment back in the day. And anyway, we, I used to just have people circling through, and anybody who showed up had to write a song with me, right, Paul? Yes, Very much. Happy to see you too. Oh my goodness! So exciting. My God, my voice. I thought you knew I was coming. We like we were. <laughs> we, <laughs> we had some fun times. We went to Dallas, right? We went to. We went all over. We the went place. all over the place. I have to refer to all these charts is because I'm getting so old I can't remember all my things, you know. <laughs> so, but <coughs> fortunately, I can remember the words. So, here's a song that I wrote with a woman named Reba Hunter, 
and um, we were, I was telling her the story. I don't know if it's okay to talk about what, how the song was conceived, but would you like to hear that? Um, well, so there, um, we were just talking about the different men in our lives and what their skills were. Like some people are skilled at cooking, some people are skilled at hammering, or, you know, people, you guys, you men, most of you are very talented in many different ways. And this, is, this song goes out to all of you talented men. And we are grateful for your presence in our lives. And this is called You Can Tell a Lot About the Man. After the sun goes down With his tool belt on He's been there since dawn Sand in a rock and cherry found He doesn't even notice me For his cut and callous hand And by the way that he works You can tell a lot about And kept it in the yard to mend. Got up in the night to send back the creek when a storm came rolling in. Thank you very much. That song is for all you all men who are kind and loving and giving and caring to your people. So, uh, let's see. How many of those kind of guys do we have in the room anyway? No, just kidding. <laughs> um, and um, I wrote this next song with my friend Paul. Paul Marshall is also in a group called I See Hawks in LA. And they're a fabulous, fabulous band. And um, let's see. 
<coughs> so um, we were working with a fellow named Steve Robertson, who was an, a friend of mine for years, and we were writing some songs for him. And it was a really interesting, the way this song came about, I, I found it to be so good. We would drive down, we'd have lunch, and then we'd talk about, you know, the nature of the song and, like, all the different influences that we had. And so between my influences from Cape May, New Jersey, with I had a water tower there, and remember that? Do you remember all that? We had so much fun just sharing our experiences of, of our younger lives. And so anyway, here's a, a song called What Used to Be. Do the boys still need at all subs to find the girls on Friday night and race their cars down 83 out to the Cali line? The water tower, Wilson's Pond, the church. Thank you so much. Really, really fun song, right? It makes you think about like all the things that you did. Like I know when I was one of the reasons we talked about the racing of the cars down because I did that when I was about 
12. <laughs> my dad let me, he taught me how to drive, and that was a bad mistake, because <laughs> then, <laughs> uh, you know, I sort of stole the car and drove really fast down this road in Cape May, New Jersey. Took it up to 100, man, and I, I survived to tell the tale. So, so that was sort of part of what that line was about. <laughs> so. And you're a good driver to this day. Yes, I am a good driver. So, um, okay, the next the next song I'd like to dedicate to my um, my grandmother Christine, who's um, such a. I think she's probably has a lot of influence on how come I am the kind of woman that I am, uh, relentless, like driving. <laughs> I just go for it, um, when, no matter what business I'm in. I'm, I'm doing it full time, you know. So. And this is called uh, She Wants More. And uh, this is dedicated to Grandmother Christine. And it's really not true about her character, but it was, a, it was based on um, a, an image of a lady when I was at, on the road and I was seeing a, a lady at, at the maid making the beds out and stuff like that. And then I peeked out the door and there was this woman who was wearing a uh, a uniform very similar to what my grandmother wore when she worked at a high-end um, hotel as a chambermaid. So, um, can I get that? Oh yeah, yeah. I can do that. Thanks a lot. See, Greg Kruger is earning his money by <laughs> keeping me <laughs> keeping me on track, and I'm just so um, happy to be feeling good enough to do stuff and just really, you know, music is healing. Okay, here we go. She was a chambermaid on the penthouse floor at a fine hotel on the Jersey Shore. She'd been on her own since the age of 12 and most of the time was a living hell. So she took the job just to make ends meet. It was so much safer than a walk in the street. She had a plan Trying to find a place where she might be alone. So every Tuesday night, she'd go to school. No time for love, cause love's for food. And she took control of her destiny to break the chain of her family tree. Working hard for a living. Thank you so much. Grandma Christine, thank you. Okay, and then we got a couple um, songs here. 
called River, one's called River of Time. That would be next. And if, if the girls would like to join up here on the, this stage area, I'm going to have them. And I guess we'll have to. Do you want to let the girls sing? Yes. Okay. Are you okay with them? Yeah, and you can all sing now. Yeah. yeah. You go. Let's see. <coughs> I know this is a little unorthodox, but once you hear Jackal, you'll go, yeah, go. I have high hopes for this group. I hope we get to go to Carnegie Hall or Hollywood Bowl or somewhere. I'm working on it. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and um, this is a song that I wrote with Paul Marshall. Yay, Paul Marshall and I wrote this one called River of Time. And um, it was like how many years? 25 years ago or something? A long time ago. Okay. And, um, uh, this is Janie Thorne, the J-A of Jackal, and I am the K of Jackal, and that's Leslie. It's just a, <laughs> the L of Jackal, and it always turns out that we're always in the right order of the, na of the initials. So, um, and uh, let's see, okay. All right, everybody having a good time? Okay, thank you. Um, I'd like to say a big thank you to my partner, Brian Susie, for just watching me go through all these things I go through to get ready to play. It's a, I'm a nervous nivus, but I don't know what I'd do without you. All right. Okay, who wants to count it? Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> a young one about as tall as a tabletop not a care in the world I'd run all day and never stop and when I stumbled or when I fell skin my knee I'd run to my mama she always i 
just for the trio, right, Paul? <laughs> it sounds good. Um, so here's a little tune called Flame of Love, and if any of you have, I think you, some of you might have heard it at some of the house concerts we've been doing lately, and if you know the lyrics, just jump on in and sing it, you know, it's so much fun. This, this song resulted from me doing a, a gig at, on a Valentine's Day show up in Ventura, and we were playing all these, like, my funny Valentine, and all these things, all these love, love, love songs. And I came home and wrote this thing, like, in, as long as it took to sing it, it was like, you know, I channeled it. It was so fun. It's so fun to get this home. And, you know, you may go, oh, that's why it sucks. No. <laughs> so, okay. One, two, uh, one, two three. <laughs> Just a small thing, but there's a sweet ring when you whisper my name. I always want to hold you, I guess I never told you. I sure hope that you're feeling the same. This makes some sparks fly, honey, maybe we'll ignite a flame. Well, I know what you're missing, you're hugging and you're kissing. Tickle me down to my core It's a strange thing. I don't prearrange things. I guess it sort of happens that way. One touch and then I tingle. I'm tired of being single. I think I'm really ready for change. This makes some sparks fly, honey. Maybe we'll ignite a flame. Flame of love.
Leslie Barker and others. We have one more that I'm going to I think that being back and doing music full time is being feeling like home to me. You need a here. Where's my paper? Oh, <laughs> here's the letter. <laughs> so, I'm so glad that I met these two women, and um, you know, anyway, it's a love thing. What can I say? And I'm just—it's a support thing too. We have a really good sisterly support thing. Um, let's see, what am I doing here? And we fight like sisters too. <laughs> so, and um, so this will be our last tune of the set, unless we get an encore and we have something planned. <laughs> I'm just planting the seed, and I'd like you to say thank you to Paul Marshall for his book writing and bass playing. Thank you. And I'd like you to say um, thank you to Greg Kruger for putting up with me all these years. My girl Sue, the, yeah. di the, 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 what is it, what they say? The, you're the secret, secret weapon. weapon. <laughs> so, and um, Janie and Leslie from Jackal. And yay. I do. Almost given up on happy endings. Now I'm beginning to believe it's been a long time coming. Through the eyes of love, I finally see that I should stop. Your love should us 
Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Okay. Wow, that was fun. It was good. Very good. Um, so we're on our, this, that was our last song, but you want to hear more? Throw $100 bills. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. But I'm just so happy to be singing all the time. It's such a good therapy for your whatever's going on with you. It's a really great, great thing to be doing. So. <clears throat> Um, this is a song, a, a, another interesting story, I suppose, if, if you're up for another story. Um, again, I was in Nashville with, uh, re writing with a fellow from um, New Zealand, and a publisher put us together, and, you know, hi, I'm Karen Tobin, and hi, I'm Jeff, I'm from New Zealand, and we, we finished the song in, like, two hours, so it's really... But for your information, it's in the key of E right now. <laughs> it was G yesterday. I mean, another key the other day. If but you're no. playing along. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. I've been lost without you here. Nights alone go by so slowly Everywhere I look you're there Memories of you surround me I never knew how lonely it feels Until you went away I know in time When summer rains forget to fall And morning birds no longer come When evening stars don't shine at all And I'll be over you Tried to help. They say I'm better off without you. Still, I can't convince myself. I can't help but dream.
so much. Wow, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And Paul Marshall, Sue Radkovic, uh, Greg Kruger. <laughs> Who is it? Karen Tobin. Karen Tobin. Thank you so much, you guys. And we're, um, I'm, if you're interested in finding more music by me, you just have to go to Google. There's a whole bunch of stuff about me on there. I didn't know that. <laughs> It's like, wow, there's all kinds of pictures of me, and there's, there's the dead Karen Tobin also, but that's not me. So, anyway, We uh, appreciate Severin for hosting and having us here, and I feel very happy to be, this is like our last thing of the year, at least my last thing of the year, and um, take it easy, and, and Severin, keep this thing going on that you have going, and, and he's having a camp, right? Your, summer, your songwriting camp? So maybe some of you guys would like to sign up. Thank you very much to Brian Susi for his assistance on tech, and Ed Brand uh, for his setting up the PA, and Dave Clausen back over there in the other part of the world. And uh, we're just so grateful. Thank you so much.
try it? You want to try it by ear?
We are not going to start with me. We are going to start with Matt Bunsen. <laughs> so Matt Bunsen has a wonderful Christmas song, so we're going to hear that first. Let's hear it for Matt. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. How'd you guess? It was... Uh, Cold winter night. <laughs> Twas the night before Christmas. Things were looking down. 500 million packages were lying on the ground. What's the matter? You don't got me? This is Severin's guitar. And Severin's microphone. Oh, we're going to start again, people, because this, this is a very important setup here. <laughs> if you don't get the first line, so do I need to turn everything off? But it's not in the DI, it's just the amp. It, you let me know when uh, it's good to go. Okay, let's try that again. What do you say, Barrett? You ready? As I was saying, twas the night before Christmas. Things were looking down. 500 million packages were lying on the ground. The post office was overwhelmed. It might be a crime to give up on delivery. It just ran out of time. UPS said it can't be done. FedEx said no way. They said try the president. He said try the CIA. It's going to take one mighty man to try and get this done. But there's one guy from far away who just might be the one. Talk about Stone Cold Santa. Stone Cold Santa Claus. I'm not talking about Stone Cold Santa. Stone Cold Santa Claus. The president called Santa and told him of his plight. You better pour some coffee, gonna be a real long night. 
I ain't gonna lie, the stakes are high. I know this is extreme. Well, Santa said, no problem, bro. Let me get my team. So listen up now, reindeer. I'm looking for the best. This job we got is crazy. Gonna put you to the test. Dasher, you look ready. Prancer got the moves. Dancer got his game face on and Vixen got the who's uh, Come on down here, Comet. Rally up now, Cupid. And don't forget about Rudolph, cause that would just be stupid. When you're Stone Cold Santa. Stone Cold Santa Claus. I'm gonna talk about Stone Cold Santa. Stone Cold Santa Claus. Well, I'm gonna make a list. I'm gonna check it twice. If you want some swag, you better come up nice. I know what you've been thinking. I know when you're awake. I know more than the NSA, so don't make no mistake that if I come down your chimney, I ain't gonna make two trips. But I wouldn't mind some cookies with some chocolate chips. When you're stone cold Santa. Stone cold Santa Claus. Yeah, I'm talking about stone cold Santa. Stone cold Santa Claus. So they packed up the sleigh. It weighed many a ton. And Santa looked down and said, Let's get this done. One, two, three, come on. Slay, traveling at the speed of light. They say maybe Christmas shouldn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, shouldn't mean a whole lot more. But far as I can tell, there isn't any doubt. Without those presents beneath the tree, them kids would be bummed out. So the man just saved Christmas and he didn't take no pay. He said, ain't no need to thank me. I got a smoking sleigh. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all. I'm going to sleep real good tonight. There goes Stone Cold Santa. Stone Cold Santa Claus. It's a story of Stone Cold Santa. Stone Cold Santa Claus. He's Stone Cold Santa Claus. Thank you, Severin. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Happy holidays. That was cool. Stone Cold Santa. Welcome. That was Matt Bunchen. I've actually got kind of a Christmas song coming up, too. I'm not going to do it right away. Okay. Stone Cold Santa Claus. <laughs> 
time I can just get that song out of my head now. Okay, well, some of you know this song. I sat beside the window for my meal And ordered up the blue plate special deal I'm a lucky man I'm a lucky man and Just outside the window I could see A homeless man was looking back at me Cause I'm a lucky man I'm a lucky man The window was the only thing between that man and me He was so close that I could count every worry wrinkle Every bloodshot vein Each confused expression on his face He saw me look then quickly turned away Embarrassed that he might be seen this way I'm a lucky man I'm a lucky man Then I suddenly remembered him from school That high school jock was always oh so cool He was a lucky man He was a lucky man But how on earth could that man fall So far from where he was He looked to me to be on top The king of his own world A magnet for the girls Everybody said he'd done it right My memory doesn't like to go so far You see that football jock once beat me up For playing my guitar I'm a lucky man I'm a lucky man
<laughs> I forgot the words on the first song. That's not a good sign. I want to thank you, my nephew, Ethan, for bringing this uh, Pinot Noir. I just opened the bottle. If anybody needs a refill, there's probably still some left. Uh -huh. Okay. No, nope, arms aren't long enough. <laughs> this is my normally my Vanna White over here. Uh, let's see. Where am I? Um. I was just telling. Uh, who was I telling? I was telling a friend about a about a, a an assignment I got to write a song. And it's from the Now See Here group. Are you all familiar with that? I know you are. Now See Here is run by a guy named Phil Ward. And what he does is he takes artists from different, well, like a, like, like a painting artist and a, and a musical artist and a, and a sculpture artist. And he, he puts them all together. He, if somebody has created a work, and then he'll give it to like somebody else doing a different type of art and, and hopefully have it inspire like a new song. And so this one came from one of those. It was from a painting. And I have no idea what the, artist, what the artist's name was. I think it might have been a, like a very young person. But uh, Excuse me, Lizzie. Uh, so. <laughs> Yeah, right. So here's a song called Sparkling River, uh, inspired partly by that painting and partly by being in Stanley, Idaho. around me for the love I see a river it knows what I'm dreaming of every drop every ripple so important to the flow helps it don't know how precious life is and they won't until it's their time to go this is their chance to do some good to make a difference while they're here to bring some joy to bring some is 
right by me. I would rather be following that river to the sea. Sparkling river on a journey to the sea. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we're going to do a, a song written by entirely too many people. Um, I wrote this with my friend Freebo and my friend James Lee Stanley, who is going to be here next month. James Lee Stanley, every January, here in the chapel. And David Roth. Not David Lee Roth. Oh, <laughs> I am sure you, you, yeah. Can you just imagine if David Lee Roth was on this song? Not this one. <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is called To the Light. The earth looks peaceful when it's seen from outer space Such a pretty place for you and me How do we hear the wisdom of the crickets in the night Singing out of sight from way down here Way down here where there's always right or wrong Why can't we just try to get along? I've heard it said I've heard it said There's a hundred billion galaxies of light Lighting up the night for you and me We could be as peaceful as the earth from outer space living in a place of harmony harmony could be such a joyful sound but why do we just put each other down just to Consider that there is no black or white. There are always shades of gray to help us find our way to the light. To the light. To the light. I've heard it 
Such a joyful sound, but why do we just put each other down? And just consider that there is no wrong or right. And consider that there is no black or white. There are always shades of gray to help us find. peaceful when it's seen from outer space such a pretty place for you and me thank you thank you thank you so much i'm gonna do a couple solo things so i don't know what everybody wants I'll go to do. with So this first one is my Christmas song. And, um, um, you know, it's funny. I, I played this. I played this many times when it wasn't even very near Christmas, and it worked. I don't know. You tell me. I mean, is it only, only a Christmas song, or can it be, well, forget the thumb. Uh, <laughs> Or, or is it, uh, or can it be done at other times, year around? <laughs> what you don't know it already? <laughs> it's called Orphans Blues, <laughs> and it's the closest thing I have to a country song. Sorry, Karen and Karen's band. You know, I love you guys, but I just don't do much country. In fact, I, I, I've tried to write country songs before, and I've had people say, ooh, that's not country. <laughs> In fact, I, had a, I, I recorded this song with, with Ed Tree, uh, I, another song years ago, and we had this great, great steel player who turned to Ed and, well, and to me and said, that's not country. When this is done, you can tell me if whether this is country or not, okay? It's got the rhythm. <laughs> Look 
looking out the window, I could, we could barely see the moon. Orphan boys with dreams of toys lose those dreams so soon. Some years we each got one, but money had been tight. So none of us dreamed of Christmas toys at night. Small town center, said the lady on TV. Someone broke into the orphanage to leave gifts and a Christmas tree. They didn't catch a burglar, but they're gathering their clues. How someone stole away the orphan's blues. It happened again, then every Christmas Eve. Once again, our secret friend brought us reason to believe. I got older and had to move out, but got a job with the handyman. So I was there when the next year's story ran. To leave gifts and a Christmas tree. They didn't catch the burglar, but they're gathering their clues. How someone stole away the orphan's blue. My boss broke his leg. It was a sorry sight to see a grown man crying that he would have to miss Christmas Eve I didn't understand it so he handed me a key he said look inside that closet there and tell me what you see I saw gifts and cards with the names of the orphans they'd go to. And like a flash of light, I knew what I had to do. There was a small town Santa, said the lady on TV. Someone broke into the orphanage to leave gifts and a Christmas tree. But they're gathering their clues How someone stole away the orphan's blue No, they didn't catch the burglar But they're gathering their clues How someone stole away the orphan's blue So, what do you think? Is it a country song? No. Too many chords. Four too many. So, there were six chords? <laughs> Leave it to you to count them, Mike. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so it's not a country song. I guess it's okay for me to do that song then. Because I don't do country. Yeah, okay. Now you're what? Oh, it is a Christmas song? Because I played it in June and everybody got off on it at a bar once, but they, but they were all drinking. What can I say? Okay, all right. So, uh, I went to, um, 
I went to a songwriting retreat, and I played this song last month, okay? So some of you that might have been here heard it. And uh, uh, while I was at the retreat, I was missing my girlfriend, and I wrote her a love song. So. <laughs> and, and it was kind of jazzy, and the people and some, well, some friends of mine said, you got to make it into a bossa nova. So now it's a bossa nova. I know you, many of you are probably going to say, what? But there you go. Ah, wait a second. Give me a second here. I, I won't take long. It might take long. <laughs> you know, I was in tune when I bought it. Oh, you gotta play it while I'm while I'm tuning. <laughs> Are you entertaining the people while I'm tuning? There you go. Yeah, so this is a song called My Hello. You okay, Janie? So at the songwriting retreat that I go to, we all, it's like a seven-day retreat. But, you know, the first day is traveling there to Stanley, Idaho. And the last day is, of course, leaving Stanley, Idaho. But five days in the middle where we can all write a song a day if we can. I didn't get five done this time, but I did get three done. And usually at the end of the day, we sit around and we play the songs we've written. This song was so complicated that I could not do it the first night. So I did it the second night. You didn't need to know that. So I guess this means that all you country people can go to the bathroom or something. Leaves have turned, the wind is on the move, the sun reflecting on the water here. I miss your sparkle, the glimmer in your eyes when I take your hand and whisper my hello. that I could say my hello as I hold you close oh someday a season gone till I see you again but every night I'll hold you in my dreams say my hello as 
I hold you close Oh, someday Oh, someday Thank you. All right. So I uh, I switched some songs around in here. So this is um yeah, this is a song called "Love Will Come," and uh, yeah, I debuted this a uh, number of months ago and. I've got nothing but thumbs up about it, so. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I like 
that one. You know, I used to travel around uh, back in the 70s when I was on Motown. I had a bunch of gigs all over the country, and I would sit in my hotel room, and I would just pick up the guitar and play, and that was, that guitar part was from there. Back, I used to just sit there and play. <laughs> Just uh, a few months ago, I finally put the song together. You know, I remembered. Hey, there wasn't there a wasn't there a guitar thing years ago that I used to do? Yeah. Yeah. So I I, I guess I was on a roll in the '70s and didn't know it. <laughs> oh well. Uh, so this one, this one also came out a a few months back, and uh, it's a sing along. And I'm going to teach you how to do it. I'm going to teach you how to sing it. And there is a f there is a there is a main melody, and then there is a third melody, and then there's a fifth melody. And you can choose which one you want to do. Okay. Here's the melody, the number one melody. Ooh, I like it like that. Give yourselves a hand. Uh, 
Okay. Um, I just wrote this chart last night for this song, and so I, I kind of showed it to the guys before, bef you know, not too long ago today. And Barrett's going to take a solo. Actually, when I wrote the song, I was in Stanley, Idaho, and I texted Barrett, and I said, oh, I've got a solo for you. <laughs> Are there vocals? Um, Can I fake it? No? They're here. Can I? Is there? Okay. okay. If you want to, if you, no. if there's, you know, there's that, there's the one line. This is called Life's Too Short. And it's not a very happy song, I guess. Mm. But you know, we can always make it happy. Oh. Uh, what key was it in? Oh, that's right. I just wrote. I, I wrote this this intro during my meditation today, and uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs>
much more to report. Life's too short. I'll see you all in court. Life's too short. Severin Brown. Barrett Tagliarino on the guitar and the snort. <laughs> okay, we're winding down here. We've got the last well, three? We've got three to do. <sighs> you know, it's funny, last month or the month before, I tried to get away without doing this next song, and somebody gave me a lot of shit. This is I Am and I Will. And it's a sing-along. I am and I will. I am and I will. I am and I will. When I got your letter, Everything in turn is rearranged. I'm just a Picasso in this beauty pageant world, but I'll make you happy if you'll be my girl.
Thank you so much. We've got a couple more to do. But I want to say, Veritagli Reno. <laughs> Janie Thorne. <laughs> Matt Bunsen on bass. One of my favorite bass players right here. Wow. Elizabeth Joy. <laughs> and Lizzie the Keyshawn. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, can we do this without Leslie? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Greg? I can sing both parts. You asked for this. Thank you so much. This is a song called Lessons. And, uh, Through the forest, I'm winding, my pathway I'm finding. I walk hand in hand with a certain one. There are moments she sends me, but other times she offends me. Till I don't know who I am when the day is done. this same tree, the same shore, I've seen that same horizon calling to me. Now my question is why are there always lessons and what if we never learn them? Do they return again? Is there magic that keeps us moving forward like a tide that pulls us shoreward? Will these lessons end? Now the trees in the forest Like a thousand voice chorus They say to end it And be on your way I want to live life Not waste it And now it's so close I can taste it So why do I hesitate another day I feel like I've been here before I passed this same tree the same shore I've seen that same horizon calling to me now my question is why are there always lessons and what if we never learn them do they return again That's my favorite. 
That's my favorite song. <gasps> yeah. Well, you know, I'm almost out of wine. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Last song. <laughs> a James song, right? Fly paper. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <coughs> this is from the Tall Men Group album number two. Two. Yeah. Four. Too tall. I can never remember the name of them. I just call them <laughs> tall, tall Men, one, two, three, four, five. And so number two, of course, was called Too Tall. How many of you are do not know what I'm talking about? <laughs> wow. I have, a, I have a songwriting group called the Tall Men Group, and it's been going on since 2012. And, <coughs> and uh, we actually made, uh, we started playing as a band when there were six of us. Now there's only four of us. But uh, anyway, we've got uh, five albums to our credit. <coughs> this is on the number two that I can never remember the name of. Okay. One, two, one, two, three, four. I got a good view of the outskirts of town from out of my window. See patches of snow still left on the ground But I can't feel the wind blow I used to live for the thrill of the ride And the wind in my hair The world goes on without me now Out of my window trees sway Cars move without me now Especially my town Some customers couldn't spare a dime But I couldn't turn them down So I worked on their cars with a smile With a wife and two hungry kids The world goes on without me now Out of my window trees sway Cars move without me to hurt anyone Living poor is nobody's fun I just wanted to move up a little bit move up a little bit move up a little the world goes on without me now out of my window trees swing cars move without me
Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you all so, so much. I want to tell you that, that uh, I, what I didn't mention before is I usually at the end of the show, I'm going to give a tour of the dungeon, which is right below the chapel. So you get the whole chapin, chapel dungeon effect. You get the whole heaven and hell thing going on. <laughs> so um, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, arrange the chairs in a circle, and Tom is going to lead the song circle here. Uh, but before that, if you want to uh, um, see the dungeon, let me know. We're going to be leading uh, a, a crew out, out the front door and around to the side. So, so, again, thank you all so much for being here. And thank you, Karen Tobin. Yeah. Oh, James Lee Stanley next month. Whatever, you're going to have to bring him yourself. One more hand for Ed Brand and Brian Susi doing sound. Oh, yeah. Ed Brand and Brian uh, Susi, yeah. And uh, David, Dave Clausen on, uh, on the internet. 